This is Dr. Michael Bitzer, and I'm going to be talking about uh, the opportunity for Catawba College alumni and special guests of the college to join a course trip for December 2019 to Germany and Poland with an exploration of the Holocaust. This course uh, that the class trip is connected with is going to be taught by myself and Dr. Maria Vandergriff Avery. Dr. Vandergriff Avery is a professor of sociology and director of the college's honors program. And this trip is connected to an honors course that we are teaching in the fall of 2019 called States of Killing, Genocide in the 20th Century. In the course that I've taught before, uh, we explore uh, a variety of genocidal events in the 20th century, beginning with the German colonization of Southwest Africa, moving into World War I and the Ottoman Empire's attempt uh, to eradicate the Armenians. We then move into the apex of genocidal events in the 20th century, the Holocaust. We then move into a discussion about the world's reaction to the Holocaust by defining and criminalizing on an international scale genocide and war crimes. But then we see the reemergence of these genocidal events in places like Cambodia, Indonesia, Yugoslavia, and Rwanda. And so during the fall semester for this honors course, we're going to be exploring those topics the historical perspectives, the political and governmental dynamics, uh, the psychological ex uh, uh, expectations of how people will be willing to pursue this kind of genocidal intent, along with the sociological perspectives as well. This trip that's connected to the honors course will be December 13th through the 23rd. Basically, we'll be wrapping up final, final exam week uh, and departing on the 13th and coming back to the States on the 23rd, right before Christmas. And so what this video is going to present is each day's itinerary for the trip to give you a sense of where we're going to be exploring in Germany and Poland and the various stops that we'll be making regarding the Holocaust. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the trip logistics, how alumni and special guests of the college can interact and join us uh, for this trip, and then also talk about the trip costs. And so we'll be departing from Charlotte Douglas International Airport on December 13th and arrive in Berlin, Germany on the next day, December 14th. Uh, that afternoon we'll have some free time. We'll check into the hotel, uh, get acquainted to Berlin, perhaps explore around uh, the city some, and then have a welcome dinner at the hotel uh, provided with our tour guides. The next day will be a full day in Berlin, and we'll start off at the Topography of Terror Museum, which is considered to be one of the most visited memorial sites in Berlin. There we'll also uh, see parts and remnants of the Berlin Wall, as well as we'll be about a block away from Checkpoint Charlie, which is famous in the Cold War era of Berlin and German history. We'll also pay a visit to an allied museum where we'll be able to see uh, various remnants and historical artifacts of Berlin and its time during the Cold War era. And we'll also pay a visit to the House of the Vance Conference, which has now been turned into a Holocaust memorial and museum. And this site is particularly important for the study of the Holocaust because it's where 15 leading of Nazi officials gathered to basically construct the final solution. And some of the students pictured here are looking at one of the very few transcripts taken during the meeting that basically lays out the Nazis' officials' plans for developing and fully implementing 
the final solution. This day, we will have both a breakfast and dinner included in the expenses. From uh, Berlin, we will travel the next day to the Polish uh, city of Poznan, and we will visit the town hall and marketplace. This town hall is very well known as uh, a, a famous place where billy goats perform at noon, and hopefully we'll get there right before lunch, be able to observe the mechanical billy goats uh, on the town hall's uh, clock engage in their battle. But this town hall is also important because it is where uh, leading SS officials met not just once but twice and in private talked about the implementation of the final solution. We'll have lunch in Poznan and then we will travel on to Warsaw for the evening there. Uh, again, breakfast and dinner will be included in this day's itinerary. The next day we will spend in Warsaw and we will have a tour of the city both by bus and walking. Uh, we will visit the Cathedral of St. John. We will visit the Jewish ghetto uh, that was part of uh, the Nazis' planned uh, execution of the final solution in terms of the capital of occupied Poland. We'll take a walk along Memory Lane, and we'll also visit the Warsaw Ghetto's uh, Heroes Monument as well as the Umschlag, which is a place where 300,000 Jews were deported ultimately for Treblinka's concentration camp. During this day, uh, breakfast will be included in the trip. From Warsaw, we will travel to probably the high point of this particular trip, and that is to Auschwitz, where we will tour both the main camp and Camp 2 uh, at the Auschwitz concentration camp. We will walk through the infamous gate, we'll take a tour of various buildings and barracks and see various exhibits that are on display in Auschwitz, the main camp, and our tour will actually end by going through one of the gas chambers there at Auschwitz's main camp. Uh, from there, we will travel on to Krakow to stay for the evening. Uh, on this day, breakfast and dinner will be included. On the 19th, uh, when we go to Krakow, we will take a tour of Oskar Schindler's factory. Uh, during the course, we will uh, the students will watch Schindler's list to try and get a grasp of the importance of this particular event and person in the Holocaust, but we'll also tour the old Jewish quarter in Krakow, uh, perhaps visit a synagogue, have the afternoon for free time for folks to enjoy, and then we will have a traditional Polish dinner and folklore show, uh, show uh, that the students really enjoyed uh, the last time we went, and yes, even the professors get involved in the folklore show. For this day, breakfast and the traditional Polish dinner will be included in the expenses. From Krakow, we will then travel back into Germany and uh, go to Dresden, which was heavily bombed in World War uh, two by the Allies. It has been uh, significantly restored to many of its Baroque uh, buildings and splendor. We will get a walking tour of the city. We'll visit uh, through a guided tour of, of the city as a whole, and then also take uh, some time to perhaps visit the marketplace there in Dresden. On this day, breakfast will be included as well. From Dresden, we travel to Nuremberg, and there we will visit the Memoriam Nuremberg, where the war trials and a subsequent museum was created. Potentially, we'll be able to visit the trial rooms where the actual war crimes for Nazi officials and others were held after World War II. It is still an operating uh, courtroom, so we may not be able to get in because they may be holding cases during that day, but we will certainly make every attempt to do so. 
During our visit to Nuremberg, we will visit the Documentation Center and a Zeppelin field. And then that afternoon, we'll get a walk through the old town of Nuremberg. On this day, breakfast will be included. From Nuremberg, we travel to Dachau and to uh, Munich. Uh, there in Dachau, we will visit the first uh, political concentration camp set up by the Nazi regime, the Dachau concentration camp. Uh, it actually started as a work camp for German dissidents uh, to the Nazi regime. Then we will travel on to Munich for some free time and spending the evening there. Breakfast and a farewell dinner with our tour guide will be held that evening and included as well. And then on December 23rd, we'll leave from Munich after a breakfast. Uh, we'll depart from the Munich airport and most likely fly directly back to Charlotte for that day. Uh, the trip logistics in terms of what we are expecting, we're looking at uh, approximately 15 to 20 Catawba honor students being part of this class and going on the trip. So we're looking at potentially uh, eight to 10 Catawba alumni and special guests of the college who would like to participate in this particular uh, trip. The students will be paired with Catawba guests as kind of content guides, kind of sharing with them what they learned throughout the semester, what they're seeing and how it relates to the topic of genocide that we've been studying for the entire semester. We'll also, and I should mention uh, that in most of the major cities that we'll be visiting, there will be the holiday markets going on. Uh, this is a famous part of both German and Polish uh, Christmas time celebrations. So if you're interested in the holiday markets, uh, we'll be likely visiting most of those in the cities that we visit uh, during the trip. In terms of the trip cost, we're looking at approximately $3,500. That includes all the hotels, uh, the, uh, the uh, bus uh, that has Wi-Fi on it as well, a, a motor coach. Uh, that includes the tour guides, lodgings, and all the noted meals on the particular days that I talked about. We anticipate reservation deposits being required by May of 2019 so that we can finalize the numbers for our uh, company, which is Cosmos, that we will be traveling with. And if you would like further information, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email address is jmbitzer at catawba.edu. And I hope we'll be able to have a, a strong group of Catawba alumni and special guests to join us for this educational, very powerful, and very memorable trip to Germany and to Poland. Thanks very much.